Good morning, beautiful souls. It's Shields here. Happy Thursday to you. So Thursday, the 15th of April, 2021. My, it has been such a busy week, which is all good, obviously, opening back up again and seeing lots of lovely people. So yes, it's been great. And we are awakened to a lovely blue sky with white fluffy clouds and some sunshine today. So it's a great day to have a great day, isn't it? So let's um, have some messages today for all of those of you that are watching. Thank you for connecting. And it's the um, Archangel Daily Tarot cards. So let's see what they have for us. We have a card. Oh, that one's really popping out. Okay, so we have got Cupid. Love is in the air. <laughs> <laughs> okay so cupid lots of love going around remember to give love to people that you know and even send you know love to people you might not necessarily know that you feel that they just need to have some love going to their heart okay sometimes you come across stories don't you of people that you actually don't know but their story might actually touch your heart and then you want to send out some good wishes to them as well but the message on the card is we send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. So... Um, either igniting some love in a current relationship or there's some love on its way to you. So, say love is in the air and, yeah, well, you can't beat a bit of love, can you? So, <laughs> all is good. But yeah, but it's also about, you know, just loving the people that are around you, your immediate family and your friends and telling them that you love them. You know, if you haven't done it for a while, tell them send them a message tell them that you love them or phone them or better up you know face to face with eye to eye contact is a great way to express your love and your kindness so let's move on to the animal tarot cards and let's see what message the angels spirits and guides with the animals have for us today thank you Let's see what it is. Okay, let's see what card is going to jump out for us. And we have, oh, how cute. We have the Empress and it's the Angora Rabbit. Oh, how cute is that rabbit? Oh, wait on a minute. There's a little bit of a theme here, isn't there? Romance, rabbit. <laughs> a breed like rabbit. Okay. Oh, lovely colouring as well. Quite matches, doesn't it? So the beautiful rabbit, and um, and it's got a little little heart there as well, hasn't it? In front. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. Um, what else do we have? We have a dragonfly and water running. So going with the flow, beautiful water energy and some and some change. But it, the message is time to hop into action. Use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life absolutely gorgeous you know just i just love look at those images you just they're beautiful aren't they so have those images in your mind throughout the day um so if you feel like there's something that's um a little bit negative just think about what the cards have given you today and change that mindset Oh, I absolutely love it. Oh, you just want to give it a cuddle. So, I love rabbits. They're gorgeous. Right, so let's move on to the daily teachings. And it is day 105 of 2021. And it's a message from Albert Einstein. So, his message. A human being is a part of the whole, called by us, universe, a part limited in time and space. He experiences himself or herself, his thoughts and feelings as something separated from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of his consciousness or her consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, restricting us to our personal desires 
and to affection for a few persons nearest to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. Nobody is able to achieve this completely, but the striving for such a achievement is in itself a part of the liberation and a foundation for inner security. Wow, very powerful, very apt message here as well. We are all part of one. We are all connected. It doesn't matter what race or gender or anything like that. We are all connected. So we have to send each other lots of love, okay, and keep all our vibrations very high. Yeah, so yeah, he experiences himself or herself, his thoughts and feelings as something separated from the rest. They're not. And it's how you can have, how you're feeling um, can have a ripple effect on those people that are nearest and dearest to you. So, and vice versa. So our task must be to free ourselves from the prison by widening our circle of compassion and to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. Thank you, Albert Einstein, for that lovely message. Um, he was 1879 to 1955. Okay, very, very wise words. Um, absolutely love it. Okay, so bear that in mind. There's lots of messages in these cards today. Sometimes, I don't know if you feel, is there any like hidden messages for you that something that you've been thinking about and suddenly they pop up throughout these, these messages, um, it means you're on the right track, okay? It means you're opening, that you are um, awoken and, you know, feeling like that you are part of that universe. I'm just looking at a little bird just jumped on the, the, top, the top branch, bless it. Um, sorry, just distracted there. By nature. So we have to embrace nature, don't we? But yes, yeah, some of the messages that come through, it's like, I was only thinking about that the other day and suddenly it comes comes out in here or or in other forms, you know, you just hear somebody mention something. Anyway, let's get the quote of today as well. Uh, see what they want us to have. Beautiful clouds up there as well. Actually, there's an angel in that cloud. Okay, so we have golden child. And it is follow the universe because you're a light worker and you have the power. Remember, take back your own power. Live your life in the moment. Live it how you want to live it. OK, you have the power to have the best life ever. All right. It's up to you to make your own decisions about things. It is your life and you're the only one that can actually live it the way you are. And you are a golden child. You are here on earth for a reason. Okay, but follow the universe. The universe and source will give you the messages right at the right time when you need it. Because you are a light worker. You're here. You're connected here for a reason. You're watching this for a reason. So you're drawn to, you know, looking at the bigger picture on things. Um, I keep looking at the card that was underneath it and I feel like I really want to say what it is. And it's about a psychic ritual. Okay, so honour your intuition, your self-belief and cleanse sacred space. So if, if you haven't cleansed your sacred space recently, open up the windows and the doors, burn some incense or some sage and, you know, Set the intention that you want to clear things, get rid of any stagnant energy around and that you want everything to be bright and new. So, yeah, make sure you set that intention that new positive energy is coming in, that you can feel more relaxed and free and cleansed and, you know, smudge yourself as well if you need to. But getting that fresh air in and just cleansing your space. Um, do the whole house, not just necessarily a little, if you have a sacred room, like, you know, this is my room here, but I will do the whole house because um, obviously people are coming back in. So um, 
need to keep it cleansed and energized. So I hope you've enjoyed the messages today and um, you know, leave a comment if something really resonates with you. Uh, if you have any, I don't know, any sort of questions or ideas that you, you want to put to me, that's fine. I'll, I'll take a look and see if I can help with any answers. But in the meantime, just enjoy your Thursday. Have the best day ever. And I will see you again soon. Take care. Peace, love. Namaste. Bye for now.